Hi guys, welcome back to Blocks Island. I'm super excited for this. Let's check if Straw the Roblox YouTuber has done a face reveal and what it is like, but before we begin, like and comment right below this video and keep the post notifications turned on. Straw's face reveal. Straw, also known as Straw Hat Luffy, is a Canadian YouTuber known for playing the Roblox game Jailbreak on his mobile phone. Straw also plays different games such as Pet Simulator. He released a video on Pet Simulator 2 where he showed his viewers secret hidden grinding and chest spots. Straw famously took on my username's this, another Roblox jailbreak YouTuber, in the first game. Straw was a cop and my username's this was a criminal. Straw managed to arrest my username's this two times but failed to arrest him the full three times. However, my username's this robbed all the stores necessary and won the first game. The second game was when my username's this was a cop and Straw was a criminal. Straw managed to rob five stores, but my username's this only arrested Straw once. Straw won the second game at the end. This meant that my username's this and Straw tied on their challenge. Straw hasn't yet done a face reveal simply because he hasn't thought of it yet, but some say that he has done a voice reveal. I'll be sharing this on my next video, if it's true, so don't be left out. As we all know, creating your own type of style in Roblox can sometimes be a challenge for some developers, but Jailbreak is an exception. With its desert scenery and high quality cityscape, the game is visually appealing and fun to explore. Bad CC is a proud of the many details that the team has incorporated into their game, from car suspension to the unique ragdoll physics after getting tased, to a system that rotates your avatar's head the same direction as your camera. Jailbreak has also added just the right amount of difficulty into their game where all types of players can be challenged, yet have fun at the same time. The game offers a great balance of power between prisoners and police, which makes the game difficult to fit the style of gameplay. It's up to you if you want to get help from other players or challenge yourself to get it alone. This is key for bad cc you can cooperate with your friends to rob buildings and fight crime together with different people having different roles you can also play solo and have a lot of fun when we asked bad cc and asimo 3089 if they had any advice for aspiring developers given some of the lessons he learned while creating jailbreak they had this to say test as much as possible with as many people as possible so you can get feedback about everything you're working on and make sure you aren't spending too much time on something that isn't worth all the time if people aren't having fun playing your game you need to correct this said bad cc and of course it helps to get all the weird bugs out that come up when there are millions of people pushing every boundary of your game to the limits. Focus on a single project and make sure you don't spend too much time away from it all at once. I made a jailbreak while I was in school and spent at least a couple hours on it each day during the weekdays. Listening to feedback is huge, he said. If a majority of your feedback givers are telling you they want something, there may be an even larger portion of players who aren't willing to speak up. The past update that's pushed us past 80,000 concurrence involved a bunch of gameplay changes and updates that players have wanted for a long time. We also run Twitter polls on recent changes to figure out where the players want the game to go. Addressing popular feedback seems to do the trick. For a game to build up popularity, it needs to have a great replay value. Jailbreak has taken that aspect of the game design and taken it to heart with many unblockable features and prizes such as safes, vehicle skins, and in-game credits. These features create an investment in the game and provide a reason to come back and play. Even Bad CC admits that he is always finding new ways to play the game. The discovery is part of the fun. All games have certain aspects that set them apart from their competitors and counterparts. One of the major features that set this game apart from others is a user interface. It has its own well-designed custom control menu for everything, from crawling to driving. This makes it easy to hop into the game and quickly learn how to play. Still, as Bad CC points out, gameplay goes a lot further than fancy UI. You don't have to know you can rob banks and jewelry stores when you join the game, but as soon as you figure it out, it's an entirely new game. Or the fact that you can pickpocket police, customize cars, hijack helicopters, have parties in apartments, and so much more. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, and comment right down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and turn on the post notification for more. Stay tuned for my next video.